Now to fit this onto video we're using quite a small resolution so um, it's getting a little bit cluttered here and a little bit busy and you can't really see everything at once so what I'll do is go to more, go to palette options and you can then choose a thumbnail size that's suitable for you. I'm also using layer bounds which is quite handy because then with layer bounds you only see the content of the actual layer um, you don't see loads of transparent pixels that you don't need to actually see. Okay so there's a little bit more space there now I can just stretch this out too and you can see more thumbnails and a build-up of what's involved with this project. OK, Exposure 3 has been added. Let's motor on and add a few more. What I'll do is um, add Exposures 4 and 5 and 6 and come back to you in just a tick. Hello, welcome back. I've just edited a little bit of that out and added um, Exposure 4 and 5. And I'm about to start painting out bits of um, 5 here. You've got a hint of a um, bus whizzing by here, which I quite like. Um, but I might want to reduce that a tad, and to do that I could always take down the opacity of the brush. So I'm using a grey brush instead of a black or a white one now. If I then gently just click on the layer mask that's associated with this layer and spray, I can reduce the opacity a little bit just using a brush. So that's another trick you can do using layer masks. They give you so much more control over what you see and what you don't. OK, so that's another layer built up there now. I'm also seeing um, some of the new sky from this top layer here so I'm going to go back to a solid brush and I'm just going to uh, spray like so so we can see the richer bluer sky from the layer below. Hit tab to get rid of the floating palettes and to see the um, other layers beneath as well I'm just going to spray out the bottom section of this new layer until we've got a much more vivid and contrasty all looking shot. Okay so that's exposure 5 added. I've just selected and pasted in Exposure 6 and there you can see it's a very dramatic uh, curve there from some of these vehicles as they draw around the corner. So let's um, quickly stick that on, lighten, there we go. And uh, you can see if I turn that on and off that we don't need to worry about painting out anything because it's basically got a lot of dark there that disappears automatically using the layer blending mode. Now I think that um, top curve is a little bit OTT, it looks like it's been painted on, not really working so what I'll do is I'll create one more um, levels adjustment layer, turn that into a mask just by repeating what we've done already, clicking on the mask there and I'm just going to paint out the light like so. I could control Z to undo that or I could paint white on to restore it of course because the information is still there and maybe if I go back to a black brush I can change the opacity and see if that will make any difference. Um, makes it slightly more subtle but to be honest, it's an artistic choice. I'm going to get rid of it by painting over it a few more times until it's gone. Because we still have some other streaks there building up to create our montage of traffic. So there we have our composite image with multiple layers of different exposures and yet our background is correctly exposed because we're using the correctly exposed shot that we did at the very beginning and we're just adding lights as needed. We don't need to worry about the exposure problems and all of these other shots because we're just masking out and blending out the bits that we um, don't want to keep the bits that we do, the lights. So for the icing on the cake, let's add an adjustment layer. And we can do that by going to Hue Saturation this time. This is just going to lift the colours of the whole shot. Um, we don't want to go too high or we'll start getting unprintable blues that won't print out on our printers. But this is about right, about plus 18 gives us a nice kick to the oranges and the blues and just gives the shot more impact. And that is our final composite shot. Let me just hit tab to hide the palettes, click that to close it, and control plus to zoom in. And there you have a shot that would be really tricky to shoot for real. You get the exposure wrong on um, the background there. It'll be blown out in the sky and you wouldn't get as many lights as this because they wouldn't register on a longer exposure so successfully. So there's our composited light trails photo.